Hello friends. So this is Saturday morning and I have a bunch of empties to share with you. I was just going to keep prolonging this like I have and my bin was overflowing. There's a lot of full size. There's a lot of sample size. There's a lot of mass. So it's time to share what I thought. So I'm going to start with um, some fragrance for the house. This was a Febreze candle. I think it was like Dragonberry, something like that. I am not a huge fan of these. I picked this up for 97 cents and the throw wasn't that great. And yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. So I won't purchase those again. This was something I found at the Dollar Tree. This was in Michigan. I haven't found this on the East Coast, but these are, is there a brand? Green Briar International. Um, this was a morning dew room spray, natural scented really really nice smell um they had reed like the with the oils they had um hanging you know car fragrance dispensers everything finished some wax the tuscan candle christmas spice this was really nice and fragrant and the scent sensational's crimson which actually gave me a headache um i used off and on and was able to finish that okay um, I did finish some of the eyebrow and bikini line trimmers. Um, I use it kind of in this area, I'll clean up my hairline here, and then in between here and up here. And yeah, I found those at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to do all the boring stuff first. Um, let's see. Um, I used a bunch of razors. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the original men's and women's Dollar Tree razors. These are the new ones. Can you tell how much cheaper looking it looks? These do not do so well. Um, so because of that, and a couple of these were in my shower that needed to be tossed. So I didn't, I probably used three, maybe four, so once a week or maybe more than once a week, and I only shave it every other day, so that just goes to show how crappy they are. So I said, screw it, I am going to invest in the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide, which is right on the razor. You don't have to put shave gel or anything, you just shave and it's moisturized. Finished the Colgate toothpaste, it's just okay. I've switched over to Sensodyne Pro Enamel, um, and yeah. Dollar Tree Feminine Cleansing Cloth, they're okay. They're kind of a thin material, but they do the job and they keep you nice, fresh, and clean. Um, use, there's still some in here, so I'm going to put this back in my shower. I hate these containers. They're so hard to get everything out. This is the Olay, and I have a new one I just put in there um, with shea butter, and I love this stuff. And then I did also finish the Stress Relief. These are my two favorite body wash of all time. So I'm going to put this in there upside down use it in my next shower um this was another body wash that i have finished it's also a shave gel it is a gel so it would get caught in my razors which is why i had to use so many razors this month that you just saw and has a body wash it was sticky so this is from mary Kay. i really highly don't suggest it it was given to me um another fail is this Kenra Platinum Lux One Leave-In Conditioner with Gold Enriched, it says. It smells, it's sticky, and it's terrible, and it's things like fall. So, yeah, not a fan. I don't use products that I can't stand anymore. It's just not worth it. Just dyed my hair, um, and I've been doing, like, the copper and the auburn browns and all this, and I just went back to my deep burgundy. And it's weird because it's really, really dark, um, and I've had kind of like a medium darkness. Um, but I've used this color silk for 10 years and does the job. Speaking of nasty, um, this is the Colrain Natural Henna Conditioner. And this stuff just smelled and it didn't smooth my hair. It didn't do anything for my hair. Um, I did finish a few hair masks that I picked up. On my Ocean City, Maryland trip, um, I got four for $8, so I have two tubs left. I used the Macadamia Oil Dried Brittle and the Color Treated Jehovah Oil. Um, I preferred the Jehovah Oil. Um, they're not phenomenal, but they do the job. Please know if you use things like this, it does make your shower very slippery. Um, I had someone use my shower and they slid around after that. So now I make sure to wipe down um, my shower with like a Lysol wipe or something after I'm done using a mask like that. Um, some skincare. I finished the Glam Glow 
Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. This was actually really, really nice. Um, really enjoyed this. And um, I got this for $10 at a consignment shop. So this was a really good find. I would not pay like $35 or whatever it is. Another fail is the June Jacobs Neroli Hydrating Mist. Can't stand this either. So I'm going to actually see if one of my friends wants them. They're good purse size things. Um, Formula 1006 Thirst No More Moisturizer Fruit Complex and White Tea. It had hyaluronic acid. It's actually really nice. It's just really thin. Like, see how thin that is? I need something a little bit more, guys. I just do. I just want to feel. I'm going to put the rest on my face. I just want to feel the hydration, and that is just very thin. And then I used to finish with Tweeter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask, which is phenomenal. We all know that already. Um, finish some more of these Q-Tex um, nail polish remover wipes that I got from the Dollar Tree last summer. Three of them. I finished the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose, which is from Philosophy. I love anything rose. This was phenomenal. I love it. Um, and I did finish the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. And uh, not a huge fan of this one. The wand was fine, even though it looks really strange. It just doesn't create the look that I like, which is kind of a fanned out and volume look. So this was a feel for me. And then I have used the liquid blender cleanser and this stuff is, works just fine. And I have a bunch of masks and skincare samples for you. So a bunch of uh, Glam Glow stuff. Let me get all the Glam Glow together. Um, the Glam Glow Power Glens. I used this yesterday. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's just all right. I use the Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse um, but the foam cleanser, I like this one better than the green. It has a little bit more suds to it, and I felt like my face was more clean. The green power cleanse left my skin that squeaky clean, which I don't like. Anything that is this white super cleanse breaks out my face. I get red spots and red bumps all over my face. I cannot use that. Um, the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. I really enjoy this one. My favorite is just the original Black Glam Glow. And then this orange is my second favorite. And then I use the Glam Glow Dream Duo, Duo, which is Overnight Transforming Treatment with Serum. And then there was like a seal. I didn't think it did anything. Used a bunch of face tan, um, tanning towelettes, Dr. Dennis Gross, and face tan. I didn't see a difference in using either one meaning not one was better than the other. Got this on my new bottle of the Olay body wash, and this is the Olay Daily Facial Daily Hydrating Cleanse Cloth. And I know Emily Noel and a bunch of people have mentioned um, this, these, uh, you just add water to the wipe and use. This was awesome. I think I might invest in them. Um, it just kind of saves a step, but it does create trash. So I'm like on the fence about it. Um, and then I finished these wipe your face off makeup removing facial wipes with pink grapefruit and apple from Formula 1006. These were just okay. Um, they did the job, but I don't know if I would purchase them on their own. And then I have a bunch of masks. So Let's do the eye. I used the e.l.f. Charcoal Hydro Gel Under Eye Mask. I didn't save the package, but this was the kind of instruction. It was a charcoal, like a gray black um, mask, and has it was very slimy. And as I was trying to put it under my eye and move it, it ripped. So it's not the best quality, um, and it didn't really hydrate. On the other hand, the Patchology Flash Patch Juvenating Eye Gels were phenomenal and I think they're like the same price or maybe a little less so just go with the patch patchology um this is the Dollar Tree April bath and shower foot mask it is very messy it does hydrate your feet um for a dollar I think it's worth it I know a lot of people don't like it um let's see a bunch of different masks so I used a Victoria's Secret Pink Selfie Skin Coconut Oil. These masks are so hydrating and so saturated. And there's always so much solution left that you can just add into your moisturizer or just put you know, the rest on your body. These are awesome. I really, highly, highly recommend that you try them. Um, 
Then I, this was from uh, TJ Maxx. I bought a set of these. I still have some more. This is the Stella Fiesta Rose Oil Face Mask. This is okay. I mean, um, it is revitalizing. It does brighten somewhat, but it's not phenomenal. And then I also use the Tony Moly Rose Mask. And I'm just not a fan of Tony Moly Face Masks. I work through... I've used, I think, 12, 13 different ones, and this was the best one I've used. So um, a lot of them do sting my face. This one didn't. Um, it came in a lot of masks that I bought on eBay. And the Miss Spa Mask. Now, Meg's Makeup 8 talks about the Miss Spa Mask all the time. For the value, she says, and she buys them at Target, they're just phenomenal, and I definitely can agree. What I like about these masks is that, I don't think I saved it. Oh, yes, I did. When you pull the mask out of the packet... There's a plastic, which you are introducing more garbage, but there is a plastic part like this that you peel the mask off. So instead of losing all this, inside of this, um, you're actually still getting it on your mask. So I used the Hydrate and I used the Brighton and I enjoyed both of them and I still have like 10 more. I have, I bought a lot of every single variety I think they have. So there's many more left and we'll talk about those soon. And my favorite mask of the ones I've used in this group was something I've never even heard of before. And I believe it's from the brand Skin 79. And this is the Fresh Garden Mask Glacial Water. This was phenomenal. I put it on my face and for about two, three days later, my face glowed, my face was hydrated, brightened. Um, it was just amazing. If you ever, I have another one of this and then I have two of a different kind, but if you ever have the chance to buy a Skin 79 mask, looks like that, um, definitely, definitely try it. So that is my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Happy emptying.